What about you? Thanks for joining us. We've got Daniel working on a Friday night now, doing some lawn care. Hello Paul, hello Phil, thanks for joining me. Most people would have their lawn already, but not us. So thanks for joining us on the lawn feed, or thanks for joining us on the on the live stream guys. This is my first time I've ever done this. And uh Daniel and I were a wee bit we wee, wee, wee bit shy, you know, so Take you over and show you the lawn. The lawn's looking really, really sweet at the minute. Like, we did actually kill it a while ago. Can you guys hear me all right over the noise of the lawnmower? Give me a yes or no. Thanks, little spin man. Thumbs up. Hello from Germany. What a fight day. I want to see my daddy, it'll be along in a minute, he's just getting a Guinness. Hello. Who's having a drink tonight? Come over, Dad. Do I get the pee over? Come on over, Amy. Hello. There you go. Are the people actually Hello. there? Hi, Bella! Well, they've got Bella too, yep. So. Long day, indeed. Is there anyone even there? Yeah, there's 40 watching. Wow, it's a lot of people. Oh. Hello. 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 So, as I say, we'll have Danny working here on a Saturday night, so I'll bring the camera over and we'll have a look at the lawn. I got Danny a, a box of a box of Krona. That's the only way I can get him on here. So Danny does have a drink too. What do you think, Danny? You want to say? Pretty good. I think I've done a pretty good job. So. Wanna go and get yourself a corner? Good lad. It's over here. What's oh, over here? There's a, a bear over here for you. So hold on, I'll put I'll put this camera back, guys. Thank you. Get your bear. So we even have Bella as well. Don't we Bella? Two words for two words for me and Bella does whatever she wants. So Pretty good. So that's just with a single cut, guys. We haven't, um, if I'd had a bit more time today, we would have got a double cut and got it looking really, really special, but uh, it's not looking too bad. So, right. I have a TV program for you. Channel 5 are doing a... Channel 5 are doing a documentary and they're looking for somebody that has a really nice lawn and they're larger than life. So 
after after we get this video up on YouTube, I'll leave a link where you can find out more, or else you can send me a message or an email or whatever. Have a really nice lawn, and you want to get on TV and you want a bit of fun, uh, get in touch. So, Guys, if you have any questions for me and Danny while we're here? Any, any questions? No? What are doing? Terrible, terrible. Killed off along. lawn. Search back. Yeah. We'll take the camera over for a look. Oh, welcome back. We had a technical difficulty. So we're going to be doing a video very soon. A lot of you get organic tea and how you use that on your lawn. I have another video going live this evening at eight o'clock. So make sure you log into it. So I do get a lot of questions about ants. Now the only thing I'd say about ants is just get the nematodes, the same type of thing we use for the leather jackets. If you're gonna, if you have ants in your lawn, just kill them off with uh, the nematodes. There's also a, a boiling, a boiling cattle to it. Connection gone funny. Yeah, well we're out in the, we're out in the sticks here in Northern Ireland. You know we only got we only got the electric in last week, so. Any other questions? Let's throw some of my beer there. Right. Come to smash the like button or shall I? Uh, you go on, yeah. give them a give them a guys if you're enjoying this video, smash that like button. Go ahead. Uh, go on. Baby. There we go. Smash the like button, guys. If you're enjoying this video, smash the like button. Is it okay to put fertilizer down in the sun so wait until it's colour? If you're putting fertilizer out in a really hot day, then you might scorch. Always water it in. That's that's what I would sort of say. You know, we um we don't chance of scorch, uh, but probably best to hold off till you get some rain. We haven't had any rain now for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And I've got all my treatments in holes, so <laughs> yellow grass. The, the grass is growing the grass is growing it, it the, the yellow grass and it's grown and if you uh it, it's hard to it's hard to sort of explain, but you'll find that the grass Will only live in the roots. Yeah, so generally liquid fertilizers running, and know that I'm going to see some sort of green up by this evening. Uh, even iron will do that for you. You know, you'll see instant results from iron. Most fertilizers take a wee bit of time to break down. So. Little green man, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. I have a, I have a, I have a video coming out at um, I have a video coming out at eight o'clock. So make sure you watch it after this stream. Do we use chicken manure occasionally? It really sort of depends. Sometimes we will. Uh, we don't use it commercially. So I would use it occasionally on my own lawn. But uh, the problem, the problem with the chicken manure is generally the pellets are pretty big and it takes a while to break down. Whenever you trying to sort of cut the grass fine. It can take a while to break that down. So especially if you're going to be using cylinders more and you have big pellets and no. But you do get a lot of organics made out of uh, chicken fertilizer. Pretty good to use sort of, if I was going to use it, it'd be like the starter then in the season. Am I getting blocked? Just the one pint. So, 
guys don't forget about the facebook group don't forget about the to win the mug we're going to put a picture of your lawn where it says like and subscribe so do you guys hear the road noise there this is unfortunately it backs onto a pretty busy road and whenever we're trying to record down here it's, a, it's an absolute nightmare we can be halfway through a sentence and a, and a lorry whizzes by at 60 mile an hour and we'll have to do it again. It can be really frustrating recording down here. I don't know if you guys are, if you can hear the road noise or not. Hey Scott from SE Landscaping, how's it going mate? Milwaukee giveaway stuff, I'll, we'll have to have a chat to them. Hopefully whenever we get up to 40,000 subscribers, they might give me something for that. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I promise Danny here, we're gonna, we're gonna go out and paint the, the town red whenever, um, whenever we get to 40,000, aren't we? Yep. Yep. yep, 100%. Yep. Wet agents will we'll use seaweed. Really, I'm a really, really big fan of seaweed. Um, um, we would use a lot of seaweed on the lawn. We use a lot of seaweed in the business as well. Really good, um, just really good all round product for your lawn. Fantastic stuff. Don't use so much. We don't use so much wetting agents in Northern Ireland. We don't really need. Didn't, we don't really have that much need for wetting agents. Generally, we get a prolonged. If we get a prolonged dry period, it's only for a couple of weeks. If we're maybe using a lot of sand, we might use a lot more wetting agent. But at the minute, not so much. Yeah, the baby shampoo will work, but the the, pro, the baby sh shampoo shampoo will work, but the trouble is it's a detergent, and you're going to be putting you're going to be putting detergent all over your lawn, and whenever we use whenever we use the seaweed and all the different organics, we're doing that to try and build up the the soil microbes. If you think of if you think of underneath your lawn as a jungle, I know whenever you look down there, there's nothing there, it's just soil, but a spoonful of, of healthy organic soil to say contains more microorganisms than there is people on earth. So whenever you're putting on, if you put on detergent onto your lawn, then there's a good chance you're going to wipe a lot of those out. And that's what we're always trying to build up with the seaweed and with the compost peas and everything, all that type of thing. So if you're going to be using wet agent, folks, either by the proper stuff or I did a video a couple of weeks ago about wetting agents and I linked to it um, doing lawn care tips so I sort of talked a wee bit about it then. Scott, trade shows, I'll probably go to Soltex um, in October say for us, for me to go to a trade show I have to jump on a plane and not really into getting on the plane at the minute. Dex engine, it is, but it isn't. They they are slightly they are slightly different. So, uh, just weigh up the pros and cons, you know. There's my Dan Ballot then, bottom of the garden. Maybe a way down too. They're all getting in the action now. Guys, have you no 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 questions for Danny here about why he does all the work and, and I don't? Yeah, Alan Moore's. I was gonna, I was gonna buy one. I was gonna buy one to do this, and then, and then I found that joke. I found the, I found the John Deere on um, 
on eBay for next to nothing, so. Danny, when are you getting a pay raise? Don't hear you. Don't read that. Don't read that. Yeah. You don't need to see that. Don't, don't, you don't need to see that. I get mine. <laughs> don't be venting a pay raises. Dan does do all the work. That's it. He does. He. They know. They. They know. They know. Yep. You know, somebody has to hold the camera. You know, that's that's my excuse. So somebody has to hold the camera. How long, how long have you been working for me, Danny? For a year and a... Nearly, nearly. Maybe two years? Maybe. Yeah, about that. A while, a while. Okay. Probably, if you ask him, he'd probably say a lifetime. Yep. Feels like a lifetime, look at yep. Yeah, a couple yep. of years. Yep. Are you watching the footy later? Well, Danny's a big Liverpool fan. Yep, but uh, is not the internationals on now? Yeah. Um, Would you watch any internationals, Daniel? I don't know, I don't really get into it, but uh, you know, it's coming home. And a bonus for Danny. Danny's getting lots of bonuses this year. Oh yes, yes. Lots, lots and lots. Actually, I'm a, I'm a firm believer that your staff actually are your business. A lot of people, a lot of people say that your customers are the most important people in your business, but that's, that's not true. If you look at well, then your staff will look after your, your, your customers, so that's just a... You let it go on. I'd say, that's quite a complicated question that, um... Right, I'm new to this, um... Do you ever dress along with just topsoil? We actually did do a couple of videos this year where we top dressed with top with soil. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Can't really remember to be honest. Yeah, we did two. We did two this year. We also use a lot of seventy thirty. Very occasionally we'll use sand, but uh, for most cases we'd sort of say sand. You're best keeping sand out of your garden. So, but it's all right if you're mixing in with seventy thirty, of course. But most popular video, we, we actually top dressed this along with sand and it's just had 500,000 views on it. So that's a bit of fun. Yeah. You, were, you were off then. Yeah, yeah. That was the COVID thing, wasn't it? That was it? the COVID thing, yeah. That was the COVID thing. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> How often do you use liquid iron? So, iron's great for your lawn, but a lot of people would put it on every month as part of their as part of their program. I don't really think you should use iron that much. Again, sometimes it's not that friendly to your soil to put it on all the time to put loads on. Generally. Guinness spilt. Aye, I spilled my Guinness books. <laughs> I'll point that out. You're welcome. Let's see. What was that? You made a barbecue. Why do you like that barbecue then? Right, guys. That's spilt. No, no, it's still going. Still going? Yeah, we're still going. Yeah, still going. You want to see come? come on, guys, get the questions in. Right. Come on over Want to hear it? Well, come on over. So. He's only 76 and a half, so be gentle on him. If you have any questions for him. What's a nice guy like me doing in a place like this? <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a chat. What was your dad's line of work? I, I, didn't, I didn't work, I was in the woods, really. 
Well, tankers and then ferries. So. On the boats. On the boats, yep. On the boats. And that. So, guys, look, thanks thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, as I say, I have a video going live at 8 o'clock. This is the first time we've done this. Hopefully, it'll not be the last. If you have any, uh, really, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. If you're not already on the Facebook group, join the Facebook group. We do lots of little competitions just for a bit of crack to give away cups like this. Hopefully, we'll be doing other stuff. Listen, thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, you'll all tune into the 8 o'clock video. Okay, thank you and goodbye. If I can, if I can figure out how to turn it off. <laughs>